Hello and welcome to the Daily Buzz. Right here on Amel TV, here's what's buzzing. How's your weekend now coming? A lot of papers, it's on pressure. How was yours? I just said it was with Bay. She said it was Bay. Well, it appears Megan Mecca is not the only one who has been caught up in the arms of romance. Yes, it appears Lawrence Abraco, the ex husband of a fiesta snigger, has found love again. That's weird. I know. <laughs> a lady known as uh, Kezia G, an aspiring actress, has shared almost intimate photos of herself and Abraqua on Instagram. In one photo, up close and personal with Abraqua, Kezia wrote, No matter the circumstance, you will always be in my love. Hmm. Love could be in there. Mm -hmm. While talking about love, dancehall musician Stoneboy has revealed details of how he got his wife, Dr. Louisa. According to Stoneboy, he met Louisa at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, KNUST, where he had gone to perform at a program. I forget. Because I was wondering. Mm -hmm. Dr. Musician. As it turns out, Louisa was a fan of his who came to watch him at that fateful event. Though Stoneboy could not recollect the exact circumstances which led to their first meeting, he disclosed that he knew he had found his ideal woman after seeing Louisa. Love at first sight, huh? Seems romantic. How did you I meet your best? Back in high school. Wow, long time, love. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the central is now minister, Mr. Kovna Duncan has revealed that the content of contemporary Ghanaian music lacks standards for preserving the rich cultural values and norms of the country. According to him, contemporary music in the country has failed to serve the purpose of preserving and promoting social cultural norms and values since the emphasis has always been on economic gains. Well, he's not lying. He's spitting some truth. The Central Regional Minister made these observations during a performing at Forum organized by the Center for National Culture, CNC, in collaboration with the Department of Music and Dance of the University of Cape Coast, UCC, to celebrate legends of infantile folk music. Hmm. I'm sure one corner won't be heard in the minister's house anytime soon. Or do you think Ajayba will be heard? <laughs> Gospel musician Payson Nyakun hopes that Ghana Music Awards UK will award deserving artists better than VGMA. Speaking in an interview, Payson Nyakun stated that although she deserved to win the popular gospel song of the year category at this year's VGMA, her awards was given to someone else. I just hope Ghana Music Awards UK will be fair in awarding artists and not have an attitude like the VGMA Payson stated. The Obinyanime hit maker is optimistic that she could win the award during the Ghana Music Awards UK. Well, I'm in India. Last year, Nigerian couple Ajibola and Adiboya Taiwo made news when they welcomed their set of sex two plus three boys and three girls in the US after 17 years of waiting. It was the first of its kind at BCU Medical Center in Virginia and it took 40 person medical team. The couple released new adorable photos of their cuties who have all grown up. Did you follow the royal wedding now? In between papers, I yeah, caught some glints on social media. Well, some guests invited for the Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's wedding are already cashing in by selling their gift bag on eBay for £400 and more. The canvas bags inscribed with the couple's initials were given to 1,200 non-VIPs invited to spend the day outside St. George Chapel in the grounds of the Windsor Castle on Saturday. Each one was packed with a giant chocolate coin, a tin of shortbread, a fridge magnet and a voucher for 20% off in the castle shop to enjoy on the day. A bottle of winter castle water and a wedding program were also included. Please show me where I can auction my meat pie and sobolo when I go to Ghanaian wedding. But hours after the royal wedding, dozens of so-called community champions invited to the wedding started auctioning these free gifts. Up to the highest bidder. Mail Online has found at least 25 listings ranging from between 25 pounds to 420 pounds. Queen Bay is now the owner of the church, guys. Hallelujah. To God. The church which is located in New Orleans is reported to be 7,500 square feet. And according to TMZ, the church building dates back to over 100 years old and was put at $85,000, guys. The church building has not been in use for a while now because of the death of its members. Wow, so Gensi is going to stop the death? I don't think Beyonce so. Beyonce to the rescue! <laughs> <laughs> That's all we have for you today. For more and to comment, log on to tv.ameyadera.com. Yes, and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel on Ameyao TV, guys. We are out of here. Yeah.